Hello fellow makeup lovers, how are you guys doing today? So I am super excited for this video because it is going to be three weeks since my last any makeup releases, which I have done consistently for such a long amount of time. It felt weird to take two full weeks of break just because I was visiting family and it was a great time, but I know you guys missed this series, so we are back at it again. And I just, ha I know it's going to be a super long episode. I've got my camera, my extra camera batteries charging. I am ready to go. I've got some extra things to throw in. At the beginning, I have a little announcement. At the end, I'm going to address a few like drama related things that I've been asked about really quickly at the end of this, at, at the end of this video, just to get it out of the way. I'm also going to try and not like edit too much or babble or go on. Like I just want to make this super easy or else I'm probably going to be editing this for like eight hours, which I'm not about uh, because that's just a lot. So this video series is inspired by Aniela Kanikis and Samantha March, so I will have both of their channels linked down below as always, along with the community will I buy a playlist, all the Instagram accounts that I use to make this video happen every week. So definitely make sure to check all that out if you haven't already. And let's just go ahead and jump on into my announcement. So I did a thing. I did a thing. So I'm trying not to make this weird because I've never done any type of announcement before, but I'm just going to go ahead and say it. I am coming out with some merch and I'm super excited about it. I've been toying with this idea for a really long time because there's a site called Teespring, which makes it super easy for creators to sell merch and they take care of the printing and the shipping. So it is like they make most of the profit. So before I even show you guys the designs, I just want to preface this by saying like, please do not feel pressured to buy these it's just something extra if you want to support me you can watch a video you can subscribe you can like this is just a little extra thing so i just don't want anyone to feel pressured but i did want to share it i'm excited about it i'm going to be using the things i bought one of everything that i um had made so uh, but like i said i don't want you guys to feel pressured so i actually designed some things myself and I wasn't happy with how they came out, so I mentioned in a YouTube video and asked if anyone had graphic designer recommendations. And Millie, bad to the brow, I will leave her Instagram, her YouTube, her graphic design site. She reached out to me and I went ahead and hired her to make the designs for this. So definitely check her out if you haven't already because she does beautiful eye looks and also she is a graphic designer. So I wanted to do proud makeup lover merch. I wanted it to just be simplistic and inclusive and just be like for makeup lovers because I feel like that's like my thing. Like I always say hello fellow makeup lovers. That's what we are. If we're here, we're just here for the enjoyment and the love of makeup. So I just kind of took that idea and ran with it. So there are two different designs and one is featuring a pink background and one is featuring a black, a black background. So the first one, I've got my little coffee in right now. You saw it in the thumbnail probably. This is what it looks like. It says proud makeup lover and it's just super, super cute and girly and kind of my style. So I love it. This is what the mugs look like. I got to sneeze. So each design has two different types of t-shirts. The first is like a really baggy, just comfy, soft, really just flowy shirt. So here's what that one looks like. Just like this. You can kind of see my bra through it a little bit because I'm in super bright lighting. So I would say if you're going to wear a black bra, you probably want a tank top or something. But it's super cute and I personally wear a size medium. I feel fits pretty true. I would say if you're in between sizes, I would probably go up. But that's the flowy shirt. I went ahead and did two just because this one wasn't showing up for European uh, sale. So I wanted to make sure that everyone would be able to get something if they wanted to. So the other is just a plain t-shirt, which also I have in the size medium and it fits pretty well. So there's a pink there. And then I also did a hoodie for each design which I love these. I think they're so cute and I'm going to be like decked out in prop makeup lover stuff all the time now. Like I can't wait for fall to come around again so I can wear the hoodies because obviously I can't wear them right now. Again, I just have size medium. So here's what it looks like. There is a light pink hoodie and a hot pink hoodie. And again, geez, I should be showing this better. Proud makeup lover. It's just a typical hoodie. Decently soft comfortable. I will say when you first get them, they might smell just a little bit, uh, but I'll just air them out and they're fine. 
And then there is a black design, which again says Proud Makeup Lover, but this one is a little bit different as you can see. The lover is spelt with a lipstick, which I think is so, so cute. So there's what the mug looks like. You could use it as a mug. You could use it as a little brush holder, which I might end up doing with this one. I don't know. I don't know if it goes with my background. I'll see, but... And then there is the baggy little shirt. It's exactly the same one that I'm wearing right now, just the other design, and there's what it looks like. There is the t-shirt. And the hoodie. So I really think that they're so cute. I love them, obviously, or else I wouldn't be selling them. So I will leave the Teespring store down below. It's super easy to shop through. I tried to keep the prices as low as I could so that I was making, obviously, a small profit, but I didn't want you guys to have to pay, like, they, like, they suggested paying, like, or putting the price for the hoodies at, like, 30-something dollars. So, I don't know. I just tried to keep it lower and do a lower profit so it would be more accessible for more people in case you are interested. So, I don't want to blab on too long because I know some people could care less about merch. I totally understand. Like I said, no pressure. Just wanted to do something fun. I love it. I'll be wearing them. I'll be using them. I just love this cup so much. So thank you so, so much to Millie. You did an amazing job. And if I ever do any more graphic design, I will definitely hire her again. So if you guys ever have any merch ideas, feel free to leave it down below. And you know, I'm kind of picky because I don't want to sell just anything. Like I could put a shirt on that says, oh man, I need a baby wipe, but I'm not going to do that. So <laughs> Just let me know if you ever have any, have any ideas and I'll definitely consider them. So now let's go ahead and jump on into the new makeup releases. Okay, so first off, starting off where we left, which feels like forever ago, is the new Bless Tribe Lila 2 palette. I think this is really beautiful. It's almost my perfect green, yellow, grungy palette, almost. I just personally wish that there would have been a dark, dark rich green shade. The owner posted it and said that she couldn't do a dark rich green shade, which doesn't make sense to me. Um, I think honestly, even if you were repeating a shade from another palette and you did something that already existed, I would prefer that rather than not having it just because I feel like it would make such a difference here to add so much depth. But overall, I do think this is really beautiful. I'm not planning on purchasing it right now just because I know I don't need it. And I think it is just on a pre-order, but I think it is really, really stunning. And I think the swatches also look so beautiful. So I don't know. I just, it's so like, ugh, it would be perfect if it just had one deep green shade. So it's so close but I think it is a really, really pretty palette. So next is from Gothic Garden Cosmetics, which I had never really heard of until um, I think I got tagged on a post for them or something for Any Makeup Spotlight. And this is their coming out of the coffin palette, which I mean, just shout out to them. Like that is absolutely hilarious coming out of the coffin. Um, I mean, it's just not, not even hilarious. That's not the right word to describe it. It's just like such a great play on words, I guess, a play on phrases. So this is like a rainbow palette basically, but there's a silver pop and a black, which I actually kind of like the silver with the rainbow. I feel like you don't see that as often and all the shades look really beautiful. I definitely feel like I don't need this in my collection, but I think the packaging looks cute and I'm definitely following the brand now and curious to see what else they have and what they're going to come out with. So next is some new matte shadows from Crow Pebble. And this is in collaboration with Swatch Me Now. It says it's July, launching July something. I can't remember what it says. It's probably already available now. But I'll link it down below and leave the information and everything. So this is their new matte collection. And it honestly immediately caught my attention because of the first picture. It just, like those five shades of pastels look so beautiful. But I know in my heart of hearts I don't need it. I don't need it. I also, I'm pretty sure that these are loose eyeshadows, which I just don't have that much, um, experience working with loose mattes. So I don't see myself purchasing these, but they definitely did catch my attention. Really? Really? Alrighty. Sorry. My oil heater turned on. Okay. So moving on, there's a new 
indie brand called Asgard Queen Cosmetics, and I can't remember where they're located, but I think it was somewhere in Europe I remember reading, and I think that these look really cute. They have, they've come out with a ton of different loose eyeshadows, but these specific ones kind of caught my attention. So these are their duochrome eyeshadows, and I'll try and insert a little video so you can see them better, but there's like a purple, a pink, a blue, and like a greeny blue shade. I think that it's a really cute little bundle and maybe I will end up trying them eventually and I'm here for a duochrome shadow and it is a loose shadow so I'm not 100% sure how I feel about it but hey you never know till you try it. I mean I have other pigments and I've slowly started to like them more and more so I don't know. I definitely thought that the picture was really really pretty so maybe I'll end up picking up some eventually. Not right now. <laughs> My July purchases are almost gone already. Alrighty, so next is a new palette from Nabla Cosmetics. I believe they came out with two, but I'm just going to talk about the one that I find interesting. So this is their new Cutie palette, which I actually do like this. I don't hate it by any means. I think if the goldy bronze shade was like a deeper rose gold maybe, or just something a little bit different, I'd be more into it. I just feel like it's such a cute little color scheme. It looks very like, I don't know, for six shades, I feel like you could do a lot of looks with that and it looks like it would all go together really well. I think the packaging is cute. I'm like, I'm just waiting to try Nabla, but I know like, I'm just waiting for the perfect moment, the perfect palette that speaks to me perfectly. <laughs> so this isn't exactly it. I'm not like, I guess I would say I look at it and I'm like, oh yeah, that's cute, but it's not like, oh my gosh, I have to have that. So for now, and probably forever, that one is a pass for me. So next is a, another new palette, and this one has really cute packaging. It's the new Proud palette from Jolie Beauty. It's available now for $36. They did do a donation from this palette um, to a charity. So they did also do different LGBTQ plus names for all of the colors and then the bottom row is pressed glitter which is in my personal favorite so I think this looks pretty I like the concept of it and I like the packaging but I know I don't need another rainbow palette and I'm not here for pressed glitters so it's a pass Alrighty, so next is the OMFG Hot Tropic palette, which this looks cute. It's got some different warm mattes and then there's some different shimmers. Again, it's just like that feeling where it's like, it's cute, but I don't need it. So I don't see myself purchasing that. And then next from Sunween Cosmetics, this palette actually truly caught my attention. This is their new Reef palette and I'm pretty sure Sun Queen did a really beautiful like yellow, orangey, like greeny, grungy palette. They're an Australian indie brand if I'm correct. And then they do this one next and I think it's absolutely beautiful. I love the different tones like the blues, the purples, the greens, and then there is some gold. I feel like it in some ways kind of resembles the Hasina 2 from Blush Tribe, but I still think it's really beautiful. Um, I'm not gonna lie, it kind of drives me a little bit crazy that some of the names aren't capitalized, like deep sea diving. The sea and diving aren't capitalized, but the shallows both are capitalized. Out of the blue, the important ones are capitalized. Sun on the water, they're all capitalized. So I feel like that's a silly little thing, but I noticed. So anyways, I think this is beautiful, but I don't need it. But it definitely caught my attention. But I don't need it. Okay, so next is something I am definitely tempted by. And these are the new Amy Hearts Beauty Flakes. They have the, these three shades, and then they also have some shades I think they came out with, with for their birthday collection or some other collection recently and they all look so beautiful. I am kind of nervous because I'm like I don't know if I will like this and this concept and how it'll look on the eye but they look absolutely stunning in swatches. I think even if I ended up not liking the way that the shades looked on the eye if I did get like or sorry on the lid if I got the lighter shades maybe those would be really beautiful inner corner colors like this yellowy pink I think would be stunning on the inner corner so Definitely tempted to try these, and I probably will eventually. I really, really like the way they look in the multi-chrome. They look absolutely stunning, so definitely, definitely caught my attention. 
and those are already available. So next is a new shade from Gl Give Me Glow Cosmetics, and this is Limeade. This looks absolutely stunning. Absolutely stunning. <laughs> so this shade is the reason I want a little, just a little crazy on Give Me Glow Cosmetics. So I've been wanting to try Give Me Glow for a really, really long time. I actually have one shadow from them, just one, that I ordered a long time ago, but it's a super neutral champagne, and it's a nice shadow, but I just never reach for it. So I feel like I haven't really tried the brand, because one shadow does not, it does not encompass what a brand is. So I've just been waiting for them to release something that really caught my attention, and the Juicy Olive palette did, but I knew in my heart, I was like, I don't need you. I asked y'all if you wanted to see it, and so many people told me yes, but then it launched, and I completely forgot about it. Like, I didn't even have the time to think, like, should I buy this palette, or should I not? Because I just completely forgot, like, I even forgot to announce it on Any Makeup Spotlight, which I felt so bad for, because it was, like, such a big release, and I just, my brain. So, anyways... I saw this picture of Limeade and I was like, wow, that is a beautiful shadow that is so bright and bright <laughs> and I love greens. So I went on the website and I realized I'm like, I keep waiting for them to do like my perfect color scheme, but they have come out with so many beautiful single shadows and I went to look at the single shadow bundles and they were sold out, which kind of stinks because if you buy a ton of their colors, you can't get any type of discount because if you buy them with the palette, they become like $5 each or something like that. And when you buy them with singles, they're $7 each. But if the palettes are sold out, then you can't buy the bundle. So I wish that they would incorporate some type of thing where it's like, even if you buy four shadows, you save $2 or something to kind of make buying more worth it. I think that would be a really smart thing to implement, even if they don't do the palette bundle with it. So I was adding things into my cart because they didn't have the bundle. So I was just adding shadows and adding shadows. And I was kind of like, I don't know if I'm going to make this order or not because I'm that kind of person. Like I try not to be because it doesn't feel healthy and it makes me feel worse. But sometimes I just get in a shopping mood and I'll like add a bunch of things into a cart. And I'm like, oh, this looks so good together. And then I normally close out and I just never buy it. And I don't know why I do that. I would love to know if anyone else does that all the time. But I was just adding some shadows in the cart. I was looking. I was watching a bunch of videos. Um, I watched a bunch of Beauty Beans videos she's done of, of Give Me Glow over time. And I was like adding this and adding that. And <laughs> I was still kind of in that moment. I'm sorry, this is such a long story time. I was still in that moment where I was like, hmm... I don't think I'm going to make this order. And then I went and I was looking at their palettes because I was looking, I was trying to see a thing about the highlighters and I clicked on their palette tab and I saw the Juicy Olive, or Golden Juicy, Juicy Olive? It was the Juicy Olive palette, right? I saw the Juicy Olive palette. It's the Juicy Olive palette, right? Why, why am I going crazy right now? I saw that palette and I was like, oh, it's so beautiful. And I clicked on it and it was in stock. It was in stock. <laughs> This is shameful. This is pure shame. Uh, so at that moment, I was like, okay, Give Me Glow is my brand to try in July. So I am I told myself with my rules, I was like, if when you try a new brand, you're not going crazy. And I feel like I've stuck pretty well with that. Like I have not gone that crazy, but I've wanted to try Give Me Glow for a little, for so long that I'm like, ooh, a highlighter here, a palette there, 15 single shadows here. So, but... On the bright side, I did get my refund from the Jack and Hill lipsticks, so that basically almost paid for my order. Kind of. Not quite, but close. And also, they have free shipping over $100, so basically, it's Limeade's fault that I spent way too much money on Give Me Glow, but I've wanted to try them for so long, and I have so many single shadows that I'm like, I want to know the tea. Like, are they are they as good as everyone says? So you can definitely expect to see Give Me Glow on my channel very soon. I actually have whatever the olive palette's name is upstairs right now. It delivered today, so I'm hoping to film with that very very soon. It is beautiful, completely unnecessary, totally a joy type of purchase. Nothing that I needed, but 
I'm so excited to finally try them. So I'm sorry this was the longest story ever, but basically what I'm trying to say is that I bought this shade, okay? I bought Limeade. It's stunning, so I bought it. <laughs> it's one of many, one of many single shadows, so I'm really excited about it. And also they had like the gigantic palettes that were blemished on sale for like $10, so I think I'm going to end up putting all of my Gimme Glow and JD Glow shadows together because they're the same size, and I think that'll be really aesthetically pleasing, so... <sighs> Lots of Give Me Glow coming on my channel very, very soon. Although I really didn't go as crazy as I could have gone. Like, I did kind of limit myself. Kind of. Okay, so next. This shadow. Oh my gosh. This is the new Touch of Glam Leprechaun's Vault eyeshadow. Have you ever seen a shadow that was more made for me? It took all of my strength not to break my low buy rules and purchase this right away and just have one shadow. It's so beautiful. I love it. I will be buying this at some point. I can tell you that no matter what. It is stunning like the blue to the green. Like it is just... Oh, I'm just like imagining the look that I have on right now with this all over the lid. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. I think this is the most beautiful shade they've ever done. So I will definitely be buying that eventually, hopefully sooner rather than later. Maybe I can con someone into buying it for me. I don't know who, though. <laughs> and be like, if I give you $12, will you buy this eyeshadow for me so I don't have to break my rules? <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. Okay, moving on to some more blue and green. This is some new palettes from Igneous Cosmetics and... You can tell that they love green because they have so many unique green shadows in their collection. I actually have, I think, like maybe like six or seven single shadows from them that are all green shades. And I really do like the formula and I think that these two collections look really beautiful together. They come in little tin cartons and they fit six eyeshadows. They've got Amazon and Karoo and I don't know, I think these are super, super cute they look like nice little six pan palettes. I really enjoy them. I don't see myself purchasing them right now simply for the fact that I don't need to, but I really, really like them. And I'm curious if they'll end up selling some of these shades as singles. I'm curious to see what some of these shades would be compared to some of the singles they already have that are like those grungy green colors. But I think it's beautiful. It definitely caught my attention. And I kind of like their simplistic packaging. All right, next is a little sneak peek from JD Glow Cosmetics, which again, got my heart going. I love JD Glow shadows so much. I think that they are phenomenal. They are, I've only tried one matte from them, but their glittery, shimmery galaxy shadows are just everything. Like, I cannot highly recommend them enough. I have a whole full video on my JD Glow collection in case you want to check it out. I'll try and remember to link it in the cards. No, no, I'll link it in the cards here. But they released this little video and it says five new super metallic foiled pastel shadows launching next Friday. Is that? That's today. <laughs> I wish I didn't realize that. Uh, anyways, these look beautiful. Like the light purple, the light pink, the light blue, the light green. Like these are so up my alley and I definitely see myself getting them eventually. I'm like at this weird phase. Where I'm like, I wish I could just buy, like, two single shadows from every brand. Like, temptation, temptation. And that light blue, too. So beautiful. Alright. Next is from Glam White. And they released their part two of the Viva Mexico collection. Um, which is available now. And this is actually super cute. Like, all of the taco... Sorry, tacos. All of the taco lashes, they had, like... Gosh, what they had like carne asada, pollo, um, I think they had camarones, which is like all different, like the meats that you put on tacos. So I thought that was really, I don't know, I really love the heart and passion that they put into their collections and all the way through. They've got all the margarita lips, they've got the tequila lip gloss. I think it's all cute and I think this would be also, like it would be cute gifts or if someone really loves certain things here it would be cute but for me I just feel like I don't need any of it you know like I have tons of lipsticks I've got tons of lashes that I already forget to use um I've got lip glosses so I'm fine but I think it is cute they just said I'm good on lipsticks but 
<laughs> Linda Halberry is releasing, or she already released, five new fantastic lipsticks, um, which I love the formula of. There's like a really light, clear looking shade. There's like a brownie neutral shade. And then there's like an orangey coral, some pink. I think that these look like a really fun summer collection. I don't know if any of these shades really call to me. Maybe Cultured the most is really beautiful. That like orangey shade. And also I Die, like a nice corally pinky lip. I really do like the idea of these. And I hope that they continue to do more colors and hopefully some more nudes because I really like the formula so I was definitely very excited when I saw this launched. I didn't purchase anything but very happy about that. Oh next again tempting tempting tempting. I really want to make a Terry Moon Cosmetics ra sooner rather than later just because they've come out with so many things that are so beautiful and I have been obsessed with their highlighter in lace and also star blush is really pretty so when they released this picture of their new highlighters I was like Ugh. Okay, okay, so these are their new kind of mermaid collection, and they're all different duochrome highlighters. Absolutely stunning, beautiful, I love it. Honestly, the purpley blue one looks like it would be a really pretty eyeshadow. There's like a greeny pink shade, and the one with like the blue iridescence. These look beautiful. I know I don't need them because I have so many duochrome highlighters already, like the one I'm wearing right now. Uh, which is Ofra Cloud, no, Space Baby. I was about to say Cloud Baby instead of Cloud Nine and Space Baby, but this is Space Baby. So I don't need them, but I think they look beautiful and I really like their highlighter formula. So maybe I'll grab one eventually. Next, this is a little sneak peek of a new bundle from City Grace Cosmetics that's launching this month during their Christmas in July sale. And I was immediately drawn to this. I feel like this is kind of encompassing, like, somewhere in between the Milk Cosmetics Gemini and the Smoke Sessions palette kind of vibes is what I get from this and I think it looks really beautiful and I'm curious to see what the rest of the bundle is going to be and also in case you have been wanting to try Cine Grease Cosmetics they are doing a Christmas in July sale so it's an amazing sale they do it I, I don't know if they do it every year but they did it last year and they do like bundles and like like if you, it's like if you spend $50, you'll get a whole bundle of eyeshadows for free. They do mystery bags. Some days they have certain things on sale for more. Actually, now that I'm speaking about this, I'm going to force myself, not force myself, because I mean, it's a joy to swatch things, but I'm going to make sure that I have my collection video on my Cindy Grace shadows up before this goes live or before the sale starts because... I really, really enjoy their single shadows. I think that they're really, really great. I'm obsessed with their highlighter and pink lightning, so I will try and get that up ASAP. I just wanted to mention that really quickly. If you've been wanting to try them, I think that they're a phenomenal brand, great customer service. They just seem really wholesome and sweet, and yeah, so there's going to be this bundle, which I believe that they said is going to be one of the free ones for a day. If you spend $50 on their website, you'll get this bundle for free. I think there's going to be nine shadows in it, if I'm correct, or maybe that's just me assuming. But definitely keep your eyes open for that. And if I can't remember when the sale is exactly. I think it's more towards the end of July, so I'll try and mention it next week once I look up the dates. All right, so next. Whew, these are some new single shadows from M Cosmetics that are available now. And these are actually, I believe, from their garden fairy palette which i would have purchased if i didn't already own majority of the shades in that palette already in my m cosmetics collection which i don't have that many shadows from them and i want to try more eventually but it's kind of hard right now because their website is sold out of almost everything there's not much on there as far as like the shimmery shadows go that's what i was looking at and there's a lot of things that are sold out but these shades like baby doll and cotton candy mm, like they look delicious especially baby doll like I could just stare at the shade baby doll all day long like that is just so up my alley it looks absolutely stunning and I love their formula so it'll be mine eventually <laughs> all right actually we have to talk about give me glow again which I'm pretty excited about because they kind of took me by surprise I feel like there's been a lot of palettes that give me glow does where it's like they kind of you get what you expect like with the Juicy Olive palette, it was just green shadows. And I think it would have been cool if they kind of expanded creatively on like martinis and olives and like 
I think that they could have done more than just green and could have done a more kind of interesting color scheme. Not that I don't like it. I'm just saying it's kind of what you expect. Like I thought it was going to be a full green palette. It was the grunge palette was very just like gray, grungy shades. The summer palette pops of colors with like some warm neutrals. It's all been kind of on trend, but not really pushing forward. So when I saw the picture of this palette, I was like, yes, like, yes, give me glow. Like this is it. So this is a Vintage Rose palette, sorry. A Vintage Rose palette and it's a combination of pink and green. I love that. I love the little size of the palettes. I think it feels really, really sturdy and high quality. And there's going to be six shades. I, I think this is so cute. I think I might end up purchasing this. Possibly. Obviously, I've got a lot of Give Me Glow to use right now and to play with, and I'm excited about that, and I'm going to make sure that I like their eyeshadows before I commit to buying anything else, but this is launching, oh gosh, I think it says 8.30 or 9.30. I really should screenshot better. I'm so sorry. I'll have the information down below, so I'm here for it. I'm fully here for that. Next from Peachy Queen is the Summer Bloom palette, which... I think this looks pretty for someone who does softer makeup. I want to try Peachy Queen, but again, it's just the case of it's cute, but I don't need it. Next, from Kraken Cosmetics, which I'm not really familiar with them at all, but they brought a palette that they used to have back, and they kind of redid it a little bit, and this is called Notice Me Senpai Palette, which I'm not really familiar with what that means. But the palette does look kind of cute. There's like some pops of purple. There's like a mustardy yellow, the blue, the green. I think it's kind of an interesting twist to a neutral palette. I don't see myself personally purchasing it, but I did think it was cute. All right. I think that is, yep, that's all the indie releases specifically. And well, some are, that I'm going to talk about some things that are technically indie, but I'm switching over to the Trend Mood page now. So first off, Kathleen Lights released four new blushes with ColourPop, and I think that this is super cute. I would definitely be down to get these eventually. I really like My Sun and Stars, and I Need Space, I would say. Yeah, I think those are the ones I like most. I think these look really beautiful. I think they'll be pretty on different skin tones and actually I'm pretty sure that Lunar Has It is very similar to the shade from uh something about bees bees birds bees the birds bees blush that Kathleen always talks about my friend uh Lily she was mentioning it that she noticed that the shades looked very very similar and I thought that would make perfect sense so I don't have that blush, so it doesn't really make a difference for me. And if you already own it, then maybe you might want to reconsider purchasing this one as well. But I think these look pretty. I I really dig a good, like, neutral blush. So this is right up my alley, and I like the idea of it. Not purchasing right now, though. So next, let's get controversial for a moment. I just wanted to speak on this really quickly. This is the new KKW uh, Body Collection. And I've seen so many people, like, talk down about this, like, oh my gosh, you want to put foundation on your legs. And I actually think this is an amazing idea, and I don't know why I never, ever considered it. I don't think that there's a lot of occasions where I would need to do, like, full body, like, application to my legs. But I personally, being super fair, like, I bruise super easily, and it's just, like, super apparent and I always get scratches. I always get bug bites, like ridiculous amounts. So I always have cuts and scrapes and my legs just never look cute during the summer because life happens. So I actually love the idea of a body type of product. I wouldn't pay this much for it, but I love the idea. And I could see how for lots of different people, it would mean a lot. Even my mom, I feel like if I bought this for her, she has really bad varicose veins. I think she would love that kind of thing to just wear and wear shorts and not have to worry. Like, I feel like in no way, like by this being sold, does it mean like, oh, everybody else in the world has to wear foundation on their legs. But I think for people who do have a little something they want to cover for like special occasions or whatever it may be, I think it's a really cool idea. All right. So Holly Boone came out with her new 
like own makeup line and I think it looks cute. This is the Dare to be Different collection and I like the eyeshadow palette. I like the different colors. I think it looks really super bright and fun and the different neutrals on the bottom definitely kind of make sense with this. Like I feel like it goes together really well. It does kind of give me like Lunar Beauty, uh, the the palette that Mandy came out with first. That dra the drag... Why is my brain like literally not working today? Life's a drag palette. I, it kind of reminds me of that a little bit, or a lot of it. And then there's some really beautiful blushes for different skin tones, which looks really nice. I don't personally see myself purchasing this. I think I may have watched some of her videos, but I'm not like a super, like, committed person to where I'm like, oh, I'm loyal, like I need to buy this or whatever. I will definitely listen and hear if people review it and love it and whatnot, but I don't feel like I personally need it. But I do think it's pretty and it definitely caught my attention. Alright, so next from Makeup Revolution is the new Revolution Pro palette. And this looks stunning. The picture I'm showing you right now is from Tremood. But uh, Paulina's Beauty showed it in her Instagram stories because she bought it. I can't wait to see what she thinks of it. And it looked like such a soft, purpley, muted palette. It was stunning. I'm all about it. I think it looks really, really beautiful. So that definitely caught my attention. They're also coming out with new satin matte lipsticks. Which, satin matte, like what is it? <laughs> is it satin or is it matte? But I think I would be curious about those as well just because I do have one lipstick from Makeup Revolution and I actually really, really like it. It's the Chauffeur Lipstick from um, the Sofax collaboration. So, yeah, I think this palette looks really beautiful. Not in this picture, but in some other pictures I've seen. And I'm curious about it. Alright, next, this is already available now, but Ofra Cosmetics has released lip glosses, which definitely makes sense for them because they've done liquid lipsticks and lip satins and like they I think they have lip liners as well so lip gloss just makes sense to me and I'm actually really really excited about this I think that they have some really beautiful colors here and I'm just always all about a glossy lip they actually did have these on Octoly so I went ahead and applied for a few different colors that I really liked and they did approve them I'm so excited I actually just got the notification that they were shipped so I will definitely try these out very very soon at least a few of the shades which I'm excited about to see if I like the formula and the wand looks like super big and like it looks like the um the Fenty gloss palm wand which already I'm like yes I'm here for it so I'm excited about those all right next from Viseart is the new Alion Alec Alcon oh wait Alcony Alcon um I don't know what that is I feel like I should. It says it's inspired by the vibrant spirit of downtown New York City. I've only been in New York one time, unfortunately, so I don't really know what's happening there, but I think the color scheme of this is actually really pretty. It kind of, I don't know, it's kind of different. The purples, the blues, the greens. I like it, but I don't feel inclined to purchase it. And then next is a new collection from BH from BH Cosmetics, which I wish they would slow down. If you're curious about why they are releasing so much, I would say it goes right on time with the time that they were sold from if they started going in production like crazy then all the way until now. They used to be an independent company until like I think like the mid-2018. So if you give them a little bit of time to get going and then you see them now, they're just like bam, 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 release. It kind of makes sense because they're, they were sold to a bigger company. I wish they would slow down though. <laughs> so the summery like really colorful palette is pretty and cute and I like it. I think both palettes look pretty. I don't need them. But I think the glowing in Greece is so cute. I love the packaging on that one. The face palette, like, it just looks adorable. I love it. I don't need a face palette, but I really like that one a lot. All right, next, last but not least, this is from Benefit, and this is their Party Like a Flock Star. <laughs> oh my gosh, okay. I actually really like that pun. That's really good. I think the design of this is really ugly, but the actual colors I don't hate, and I think it's actually kind of cute. Like, the products that are in there, I don't hate. Which, normally, I look at Benefit palettes, and I'm like, what are you doing? But this is actually kind of cute. Like, I like the really pink tones. There's some, like, more, like, peachy, corally neutrals on the other side, and then there's, like, a really cool tone blush, and I don't know. I think it looks cute. Party like a flock star. I don't see myself purchasing it because I don't need it. Benefit's not cruelty free. I don't need it. But I really do like it. And I'm also going to start saying party like a flock star way too much in my personal life. My camera battery's dying, so I'm going to go fix it. 
and then we will wrap this video up. So really quickly, I just want to address three different situations with three different brands, and this is a little bit about drama, but also some of it is about public health concern. So I just wanted to speak on it really quickly, starting off with Jaclyn Hill lipsticks. I did get a little bit of backlash because I did a first impression on her lipsticks, and I didn't really have a problem with it. And then after I posted my video, all of the crap came out. At that point, I had already pre-filmed some videos using the lipsticks, but I didn't know what to think at first and I didn't want to run on camera just because I feel like I've done that in the past and I didn't want to involve myself in the drama because I just feel like it's stressful and also I felt like I had no valuable information to add to the conversation. Like I couldn't say anything but what everyone else was already saying so I felt like adding to it wouldn't really do anything. I did get a few comments that I'm like being irresponsible by not talking about it but I felt like most people on YouTube already knew and I think that a lot of people who were like you have to talk about this j just wanted more drama so I didn't want to talk about it I just wanted to wait and see what the answers would be and it seems like they did pull a soft recall I got a refund for my lipsticks and one of my lipsticks did get a little gritty from the time that I was still using it I've stopped using them because I feel uncomfortable to use them uh, just because it freaks me out because of all of the um, accusations that are being made about the lipsticks. I I pre-filmed two videos using the lipsticks and one I posted and literally after I posted the video I lost 10 subscribers and I'm like I put in the description box I'm not using the lipsticks anymore but people don't read so I guess goodbye to 10 people who don't read <laughs> because I didn't want to scratch the entire video over one lipstick that I applied at the end but I just want to let you know, in case you had questions, I am no longer using them. And I'm not going to be supporting Jaclyn Hill Cosmetics. It's just too much sketchiness. I don't know. I have, like, all kinds of conspiracy theories going on in my head about the whole situation. But I just wanted to address that really quickly. Next. Oh, gosh. I hate doing this. I hate talking about this. It just makes me feel so bad to talk bad about a small indie brand. But if you purchase anything from MB Boutique because of, I talked about them, I've used them in maybe like one or two videos, I just want to firsthand like apologize to you because, you know, I try to talk about reputable brands and unfortunately they have had growth of something, some sort of something on their eyeshadows as well as selling product that may not have been intentionally but either way whether they knew it or not is unsafe for eyes and they were selling it for the eyes and I guess long-term side effects could be like loss of eyesight or something like that so I personally will not be having a relationship with the brand anymore I won't be talking about their products I'm going to throw away the eyeshadows that I have from them which again this makes me feel really bad because I know it's a small person it's just a small brand but I just can't stand for it and if they took the feedback and shut it down and decided to change their formula and figure out what they were doing, I think that would be different. I think that lots of people make mistakes and you, there, you can grow from mistakes, but if you pretend that the mistakes that don't happen, then you can't grow from them. So I just wanted to let you know in case you were wondering about them or they were on your wish list because of me in any way, I don't support them anymore. <sighs> okay last one to talk about Juvia's Place really quickly am I canceling Juvia's Place gosh I didn't expect this day to come I really didn't because I love Juvia's Place um and I'm kind of torn on how I feel because the level of unprofessionalism was ridiculous if you don't know the full situation you can just look up any drama channel I'm not going to reiterate all the stuff I don't know how I feel I don't really have a clear-cut answer on how I feel. I think that it sounds like a complex situation and all of the facts are not presented and there are probably things we'll never know because there's always, like people, the saying goes, your side, my side, and the truth. So I don't know exactly how I feel, but from this moment, I just feel like I want to take a break from Juvia's Place. I feel a little less inclined to buy their products. I feel a little less inclined to speak about their products, especially considering I can understand why people are upset. I fully understand. I would think it was really upsetting as well. All right, so I am currently sweating like a sinner in church because of the conversation we just had. I don't like to talk about drama. I've kind of just told myself I'm going to steer clear of it. Like, just... I just think it's stressful and I'd rather not insert myself, but I did want to just answer questions that I had gotten. 
really quickly. You do not want to see my armpits right now. <laughs> oh goodness, I am such a lady. All right, y'all. So that is the end of this video. I feel like I have been filming this for so, so, so long. I am so ready to be done talking, but I did want to mention really quickly that please feel free to leave down below any of your thoughts on anything I talked about in today's video, what you're buying, what you're skipping. If you're excited to see a lot of Give Me Glow on my channel, I had a really easy breezy experience with them. I've heard some customer service complaints in the past, but I had no problems. I also just wanted to mention really quickly that if anyone does end up purchasing my merch, which feels so weird to say, please tag me on Instagram. If you do any stories or photos or anything with it, I would love to see and repost it. And personally, thank you because I think it's, it'll just be a fun thing. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video and I'll see you in the next one. Bye. That was a very excited bye. I don't know what happened. Let me just... Bye. <laughs> oh, I need more caffeine.